Central Health is a not-for-profit organization. We're based out of Central Virginia. We are a four hospital system. We oversee an area that's about 9,600 square miles and we're quite rural and quite unique as there's not any other uh, local hospitals for about an hour in the area. When you're looking at your capacity and your throughput and you know where areas are challenged with staffing, you can really deploy your staffing based on those capacities and where those patients are going to, where they need some extra help in, that, in those areas. We were basically flying blind almost. We were utilizing a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet from probably 2004 and manually inputting that information every um, twice daily at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. That work was overseen by our administrative nursing supervisors. So sending out that information every 12 hours by the time it got to the executive leadership, it was behind, it was manual, it was often written with errors because it was human and it took multiple platforms to get the information. Once we onboarded and went live with the command center dashboard, we actually revamped our whole uh, safety huddle platform and how we deliver the message of our capacity and our bottlenecks and flow. Um, so daily we meet at 930 with the executive leadership team and we pull up that command center dashboard and it's visualized um, and it's easy to see and it creates that picture that you need and you can speak through the information, but it's there. We're able to speak to where the bottlenecks are, throughput issues that we might have for the day. So it's really changed the way we um, speak to the information, the way the information is delivered and um, the way we create our plans and move efficiently throughout the day. That information is also visualized by the team on the unit and they can see that information in real time and they know what's coming to them. They know how many discharges they have going. They know how many discharges are overall in the organization and where we're gonna to need to push to get those patients up from the ED. So the command center dashboard has really streamlined the frontline leaders ability to make decisions in real time. They are able to pull that dashboard up on their screen at any time and they're making their moves when they're seeing the patients in the ED holding and they know where they're coming to. They're really working on their discharge planning and getting those patients out the door earlier in the day. One of the biggest wins for us has been our length of stay. Our length of stay at one time was almost six days or 6.0. Um, we dropped it down. We are now significantly below that at four point. Our last one in August was 4.7. And when we, we've been below five all year, which our goal was 5.0. So that's, it's definitely helped with the length of stay. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link, and of course, subscribe now.